Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody and welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives, let's do a reading for you. What the message I have for you today. Let's take a look, changes, changes for the spring. What is changing in your life? Okay, we have book. We have man. We have whip. Okay. So what is changing, like I said? Um, changing that there is a secrecy. There is a lot of secrecy in regards to some sort of uh, individual. Okay. Uh, maybe it is a person that caused you harm. Or maybe this is a person that is like I said, brought a lot of gossip upon your life, okay? So there was a lot of gossip, but I feel that this new person that is coming in towards you is going to bring a lot of clarity. Whip is about cleansing. It's like a broom, okay? Cleansing, news. This person has has good, good feelings towards you. Uh, you can trust this person. This is an honorable person that is coming towards you. And of course, in the bottom of the deck, uh, sorry, I have star and I also have the bear. Okay, the bear, very strong individual that is coming towards you that's going to reveal, reveal a lot of secrets and make things clear about what have happened. Because I feel in the past there was a lot of gossip about you. Okay, now let's take a look. What is this birds? What was this gossip about? I'm going to use my other deck. Just give me a second. So I feel like there is a two energy. The end of gossip the end of hardship, the end of secrecy. And on the, on the other hand, I have this new romantic relationship that is coming into your life. So there's a two separate energies here. Now let's take a look here. What was this gossip about? What are these secrecy? A lot of negativity, you know, births, just lies, jealousy, envy, hatred. What is this in regards? What is this birds and a book? Let's clarify it. What are these negativity has, has to do with it? It's about recognition. Very interesting. Winning. Victory. Victory is heading your way. Okay? So I feel like this person that is coming towards you um, will bring a lot of clarity here. So you already won. Okay? The message for you that you already won against this karmics. Now, what was this original gossip about you? What was it? What was this secrecy here? It was a justice card here, judicially. Judicially, potentially, your name was slandered. It's about some sort of community, okay, that is dealing right now with bankruptcy, huge losses, disaster. It was a community, could be judicial community, could be some other community, uh, that losing a lot. Okay, being booted, replaced, removed. And of course, relevantly, your position judicially is strong. Okay, definitely here. The energy I pick up. So your name was slandered. Your reputation was slandered. By whom? By whom? Love, the person you trusted. The person you trusted did this to you the person you trusted the, again king of cups here emotional individual the person you trusted potentially is the one that slandered you we have a three of pentacles in reverse in reverse okay not growing did not want it. it's a teamwork but bad teamwork this person person partner up with another female here queen of pentacles Okay, but they're heartbroken. They're they're demolished. They're defeated. I feel like they they're pretty much finished. So this is this is something that's going to be exposed about these individuals from your past. They cannot let go. Okay, they, they're not mature. And this is the clarity that is going to come. So you need to understand that judicially. You will be able to be recognized. Victory is yours against these individuals. They are in pain. They're, they're in grief and sorrow. 
they may deal with disorders, um, depression, sadness, heartache. They're upset. They're disappointed. Because I feel like these two individuals partner up together to, to do this to you. We have star again. It's your wish fulfillment once again. Your wish fulfillment. You stood very strong. We have challenging tradition, unconventional lifestyle, unconventional relationship. Right? You standing up to this individuals that potentially discriminated against you. Too much, see? Compromise, end of conflict, end of struggle. They have nothing to fight anymore with. They, they, they have nothing anymore to do. It's over. Everything that they did has been pretty much thrown out. So, of course, luck is on your side. And you're definitely going to receive wish fulfillment. You're going to receive what you deserve. While this couple over here, these cripples, are going through financial hardship. Financial losses. They feel like everybody against them. They're struggling. Why do you think they're struggling? Because they lied. They're lied. There is a justice here. It's about balance. When you do what you did and expect that there will be no consequences, you're only fooling yourself. You need to know that these individuals cannot fight you anymore. They have no ammo anymore to cause you any harm. <clears throat> you're still winning. You're still going to be the winner. You will be recognized. There are supporters that are supporting you through this journey behind the scene, cheering you up, saying, yeah, you go, you go, you put these crazies where they belong, but they're losing, you know, this is unfortunate, but it is true, they wanted your luck, they wanted your wish fulfillment, they thought that by hurting you, they're going to win, but they're, they're suffering, they're suffering because they already understand that there is no ammo to use against you. And of course, good luck is on your on your side. Good luck is on your side. This was definitely without doubt a karmic karmic situation that you've been through. You could have not avoided it. Okay, you could have not avoided it. This individual is doing this to you, what was done. But the question is: for what purpose? Why did this karmic lesson was given to you? We have house, so you regain your stability in life. So you learn how to win. So you would learn how to fight, how to stand up for yourself, how to set up healthy boundaries. That's exactly why these karmics were given to you. They were not given to you because they're stronger, because they're not. They're not. This situation made you wise, like a fox, wiser. So you know who you should let in your home. Who should you be friends with and whom you should keep away as far as possible. Some people bring destructions in your life. Not everybody comes in with a kind intentions. This was given to you to make you smarter, to make you stronger. So you know how to win. Because I do not feel like this situation is over. You're that type of person that you're always going to be dealing with some wannabe, jealous, envious, revengeful people in your life. But at least now, after dealing with this couple over here, you're going to learn how to win. Everyone who's going to come to your home, come into your space, are going to have to go through a filter of you. You are going to filter who is going to come into your surroundings, who you're going to talk to, who you're even going to give your number away, right? This was given you for experience. So you learn how to set boundaries. So you keep evil, dark people away out of your space. 
this is exactly this this is karmic situation that was given to you like i already said to make you stronger but know that you are already the winner there is there is nothing that these people can do they run out ammo this is exactly what i feel they they cannot argue that you're the winner they cannot argue that you are gonna pretty much kick kick their up their ass you expose them okay you expose them this couple whom you trusted i feel like the masculine here you trusted but they were both in it these two crippled feeling left out hoping that someone will rescue them nobody will rescue them nobody these karmics are now dealing with their karma why else did this karmic situation was given to you for what are other reason besides the fact that you learn how to secure your boundaries and protect your energy for what other reason mature woman occupation judicature mm -hmm. and poverty there was an immature woman here, definitely, that committed committed occupational fraud. Besides this two couple, they're, sh they're showing me another woman here, older woman. She potentially has some sort of connection to the law or law enforcement or judicature. Maybe these two crazies went and spoke to her. Anyways, there's justice. No matter which way we're looking at, justice, judicature... They will be responsible for what they did. And yes, poverty comes up again. That's already second time, poverty. Poverty, poverty. They're broke. They're going broke. They're not going to have any more money to do anything. Right? You've dealt with a very evil, narcissistic, and cunning, privileged individual. You could have not won then. Because of her position of authority, potentially. Right? But you are the winner. No matter which route you take and how long it took you, you're still going to win. Judge looking at this woman and thinking, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? You're supposedly a mature woman with years of experience in law or law enforcement, or military. Are you kidding me right now? This is exactly what the judge is doing. See? He has paperwork already for both of them. Guilty. Warrants. Look at all these books. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could be charged with seven counts. Between 30 days or three months. Judge shocked. Judge is shocked. What was done to you? But nothing they can do. Okay? What is the other reason that this karmic situation was given to you? Besides the fact to make you stronger and learn how to be a winner. Cave of Pentacles. Cave of Pentacles. King of Wands. Chariot and Nine of Pentacles to move towards your wishes, to put your wishes first. I feel like you've given too much of your energy and resources to those who didn't appreciate you, to those who turn around and like wolves backstabbed you in your back. So this experience that you've been through made you, like I said, even though it's come up as a king of wands, doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine watching this. It's about your energy. It's about your enthusiasm. It's about moving forward and simply work with whatever divine's throwing at you. And you've learned that task. You have to understand because Cave of Pentacles is about resources. You yourself, I feel like you didn't have much. But even though you didn't have much of, of resources to give to, uh, to these crazies over here, you're still giving it. You always give your resources to other people. Right? 
which cause a huge jealousy, enormous jealousy. Because these people, do you think these karmics over here that caused you this problem, do they ever give anything to other people? Not a single beep. They don't give nothing for free. They don't do nothing for free. They expect a lot in return. And when this mature woman here helped anybody, you will end up owing to her for the rest of your life. While here you are as a cave of pentacles, innocent, doesn't really have much to offer, or maybe did not at that time, because soon you will be highly abundant. Even though you didn't have much to offer, you still give, right? And the spirit sees that. The higher power blessing you more. Because back then you had nothing to give, and yet you given. You given your time, you given your energy, you given your love, your support, your trust, and it was neglected. Higher powers keep the tabs of what you do. So this situation once again was given to you. So you once, so you learn how to move forward, how to accept the will of the divine, which you did, and it leading you towards your abundance was nine of pentacles. It leads you towards victory. You're not a loser. You're a winner. You needed to learn how to win. You needed to learn. There's another information coming in here. Ace of Cups, it's about blessings. It's about divine blessing. You're highly blessed by the divine. Whether it is your intuition, your kind heart, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You are highly blessed. You understand? So, of course, with these blessings, you, uh, let, let me rephrase it. <clears throat> the blessings that you have, the gifts that you have that have been given to you, you needed to value that and protect that as a treasure. As a treasure, some people don't deserve to be helped. Some people don't deserve your help. This is what I'm trying to say straight up, you know, not sugarcoat it. That's exactly what it is. Not everyone you meet in your life will deserve your help. But back then, once again, I feel like you helped everybody. You even helped the rats. You helped the liars. You helped the abusers. But no. No, because you learn how to value your energy. King of Wands, it's about your energy. Your energy that is on fire. Even though I feel like you could be a feminine, but there's a lot of masculine traits in you. You understand? You're a fighter. So you needed to learn how to reserve your energy and move towards your own stability and abundance before... You considered helping everybody else because you helped somebody else in the past. And when you needed it to help, was somebody there for you? Did somebody help you when you needed help? No, because some people just take hers. They're like Sebekas, just take, 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 take. Never giving you anything back. Never said a good word about you. Even though you stood up for them and helped them and they pretended like they don't even know you. Those are selfish people, right? So once again, this situation was this older woman and this other couple, King of Cups and uh, Queen of Pentacles, very materialistic, selfish, jealous individual. Uh, King of Cups is all over the place, very highly mature masculine, if it's even a masculine. I don't know. Um, but anyways, you go. That's what I'm telling you. You go, you don't stop. You move forward towards your wish fulfillment and you're going to get that. Okay, this situation has made you a winner. So you learn how to value your gifts. So you know who you are. You know where you come from. What else? Why else the situation was given to you? We have again, Knight of Cups. We have again, Queen of Cups, see? It's all about now in your intuition. We have Knight of Pentacles again. Knight of Pentacles. 
to move, to follow your intuition, to follow your intuition. Maybe at first, like I said, uh, before you, you you followed you followed your heart, maybe, or or you were very logical and only followed your mind. But now I feel like you follow you following your heart and you're following your mind. It's a perfect balance. Once again, we have black horse and white horse. In the chariot, we also have black swing and white swings, right? It's a perfect balance. You're maintaining balance between your heart and your mind. You're no longer opposed to your intuition because Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, sorry, it's about your intuition. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to your to yourself. Your eyes are shut. They're almost halfway open. You see? You're surrounded in the pond of lake. You're all about intuition. Right? So this is exactly why this experience was given to you. So you learn how to maintain the balance, self-balance. So you build that strong boundaries in your life because you've learned tremendously here. Why else that this Hathaway experience with these gossiper and crooks was given to you? For what other reason? We have a clear solution, Lantern Valley Fairy, a clear solution. So you will find your way out <clears throat> and not just find your way out. See, this is like reminds me of the hermit with a lampet going through the darkness. But you know where, where you're going. How could the person be lost with a lampet? You can't. You always find your way. You know where you're going, even if it's dark out. Once again, leads to the same point of you being strong and navigating yourself. Right? Navigating your direction to know where you're going at all times by listening to your heart and your mind. Not listening to people's words, but observing their actions. There's a big difference. I feel like the people you met in your past talked a lot, but there's not much works. Their talks did not match their works and their actions. This is all about you listening to you along with the divine. Knowing that you're always protected. Knowing that no matter what darkness you will face down the road. And the road of life is bumpy. It's up and down. But at least you'll have that light. For some, that light is your face. In God, for some, your light could be something else. But you learn that through your darkest times, no matter where you're at, <clears throat> you will always have support of the divine to lead you on the right path. And that's exactly why this difficult situation was brought upon you. Okay? Oh. <sighs> All right, so we have this new new lover coming in towards you, this amazing, wonderful man. Uh, for masculine, this is mean you finally finding your, your true love. Uh, for my feminine uh, viewers, my collectives, this is your true love that is coming your way. Now, what can I say about this man? He's most likely a darker eyes, brown. Mature individual, loving individual, has a heart of gold, okay, has a heart of gold, better than gold, better than any rubies and diamonds in this world. His heart is the greatest value that this person has, heart that is capable of loving, <clears throat> and that is the greatest gift that you could ever receive, isn't it? To be able to love and to be loved. 
So let's take a look. Uh, who is this person that is coming towards you? Who is this person that is coming towards you? Uh, three of Cups. This person coming in to make you happy. To make you happy. Three of Cups. It's about love. It's about celebration. I mean, every day was was true love. is It is a celebration. Every day you being with a person you truly love is a celebration every day you don't need any special occasion because having the person you love truly who is your soulmate is a celebration every day is a new year's every day is like a christmas so this person that's coming in towards you is coming in to make you happy and you will be happy i have queen of pentacles again stability that the individual sees you as a highly resourceful grounded beautiful person Full of love, blooming, blooming with ideas. Very truthful ace of swords. You are a fighter. You hold the sword of truth. This is, looks like wings here to me. A fighter. Fighter that is that is so strong yet so gentle and so beautiful. You're not rough. You're still remaining loving. You're capable of love. And that person that is coming in will see you exactly that way. That you are loving, that you are kind, but you got that sword ready. That you are truthful. That you're not going to go against your heart, intentions. That if you love, you love forever. That person knows that they can trust you. And of course, Six of Swords, most likely you will relocate with this person. You will relocate. Empress. See, Empress. You're going to be his wife. Empress. Okay. Also, maybe potentially children, if you're looking for that. Uh, Empress also represents motherhood. Um but also empress is about stability it's about status it's about that that person is going to take you not as just someone unimportant but someone who is very important in their life in fact one and only because remember i've already mentioned before that for this new person coming in the greatest possession that person has is his heart this is loyalty in its purest form. Exactly what you deserve. That's exactly why you're going to be so happy with this person. So happy. You, you won't even remember what happened to you in the past. It's so insignificant. You will look at this person and you're going to be so thankful. Thankful. That you even met this individual. And potentially under what crazy circumstances. So there's nothing but true love. What else can you tell me about this person? Thief. Sudden wealth. Main male. Pathways. An official person. Well, this person could be an official person. Maybe this person does something for a living that deals with corruption or could, could be any any field. But this person may be an official person. May be an official person. Okay? So, I'm not going to, like I said, look more into depths into it. But this is, could be an official person. If not an official person, because it will not resonate for all of you, then, of course, this is, could represent... Uh, number 22 this is could be the date of 22 this is could be the years of service 22 um, this is could be any significant number of 22 okay 22 something about 22 uh, I don't think this individual could be older than you by 22 years could be could be right it will vary but that person like I said 
an honorable person. A official person represents also integrity, represents truth. Um, like I said, this individual respects truth because he himself is truthful. Okay. Uh, if you're a masculine that watching this, that once again, there, there is a female coming in towards you as a queen of pentacles, very truthful, very stable, very grounded, uh, success orientated, very loving, nurturing, loves flowers, very beautiful, very, loves animals, flowers, uh, just a beautiful person, okay, stable, responsible person. When you meet this person from my masculine, you're going to say, okay, yeah, I definitely could make her my wife. Okay, she's the one for me. All right. <clears throat> what else you need to know? Emesis. Expanded awareness. This has came up earlier in my reading today. And we have new beginnings. It's, it's a brand new beginning coming in for you. Brand new beginning. New life. New life for you that you deserve. Okay. So know your self-worth. Do not forget what you've been through. And um, expect amazing blessings that are heading your way. All right, my wonderful collectives. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Love you. Bye.